number 68. Using the data in Appendix G, calculate the standard enthalpy change for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have silicon solid plus two chlorine gases, Cl2 gas, uh, yields SiCl4, right? Now I see that there is already a coefficient here, which chances are means that this equation is balanced. So I don't have to really look for uh, to see if it's balanced or not. Now what I did for you guys is I did go into Appendix G and I already wrote out the numbers that you will see in that appendix. You have to take the delta H values for all three of these and enthalpy, remember, is the heat and that's what H is. Now how do we find the enthalpy change? Well it's an easy formula, right? It's right here. So all it is is that if you want to find the delta H of an overall reaction Rxn is reaction, all you have to do is just take the sum of the products of the delta H's minus the sum of the reactants. This little symbol just means sum, aka add them up. So before we do that, we just have to get one number for the reactant side and one number for the product side. Now, what we have to do before we, you know, plug it into this formula, let's just multiply each one of these numbers that I found on appendix g by how many you have in your balanced equation. So for example, technically we only have one silicon, so you would times this zero by one. I know that it's going to be still zero, but I just want to show you the process, you know, just so that you guys are equipped with, you know, all the knowledge, right? There's two chlorines here, so technically I would multiply this by two. And then there's one silicon, so I would multiply this number by one. Okay. So I still get zero, I get zero, and this number would be the same, right? So now all we have to do is we just have to add these two together. Literally, it's plus, right? So zero plus zero is I have a big zero for the left-hand side, and then this number would stay exactly the same. Now I'm ready to plug in my numbers. So the delta H for the whole reaction would be the sum of the products, which is the negative 662.72, and I would minus zero. So it would just be that number, right? Delta H for the whole reaction would be negative 662.72, and the units for delta H, if we're using the charts, is kilojoule per mole. So this reaction is exothermic. You will release heat. How much heat? 662.72 kilojoules. Wowzers. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you all in the next lessons. Bye-bye.